you know, they're, they've, they've, uh, divide and separate is, you know, the game, name of the game. They've done that, everything from politics to sports teams to race and gender. They divided the genders. Then they have us six feet apart. Then they have us not touching. Now the face mask. Think about, uh, a young baby, a child looking at its parents. I was, I'm watching these parents with these little kids. The kids aren't bonding with, with the parents. And think of it, remember when it, it could have happened at any time in your life, but especially when you were a kid, and it even happens when you're an adult, you're having the worst day ever. Um, I, I remember some specific times where I just was literally ready to kill myself as a teenager, and some girl or some person s- randomly smiles at you and changes your whole day. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, so when we're walking down a busy street, walking through crowds of people, there, without, without talking, you're seeing all of those faces. You're processing all this information. You are a- adding to the, the conscious feel, the, 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 you know, the thought matrix that creates this world. And, and all of these connections are happening. All of this energy is being exchanged that you aren't even consciously aware of. And they have taken that away. They are weakening us spiritually, um, our connections like that. I mean, you have to think of it like a big web of energy. And the more interactions that we have and the more moving around, the more energy there is. Like if everyone stayed home and nobody went out, it would, the world would die. Okay. But we're out. And we are losing this interpersonal, um, you know, your face is is everything. It, it's more important than the words that are coming out of your mouth. And and those those the the, the kids are missing the smiles from strangers from their parents. Babies are looking up at their parents that you know their brains are not growing properly because they're not seeing their parents' expressions for those moronic parents that are wearing masks when they're around their kids. It is, it is, this is the, this is more of a problem than the financial collapse and everything. This is a bigger problem that people haven't even recognized yet. David, I would like to remind you of what one of my favorite philosophers said once. His name is Roger Rabbit, and he said, A laugh can be a very powerful thing. Sometimes in life, it's the only weapon we have, and that goes for smiles as well. Just think of the energy they're sucking out of us, the, the brain processing, especially in children. Um, the, the growth, there is stunted brain growth because of facial masks. I mean, think about it. What do you do when you see a baby? What do you do? You make a face at it. You make a face. Well, minimally, you, you smile. You smile, like, and the baby babies make smile. people happy. Like, right. oh, they, that's sweet. And, and and now they're taking that away. And it is just as important for adults, too. I mean, imagine walking down the street and every single person, no mask, had a frown on, had, had a straight face, right? It, your day would be screwed up, right? It's those smiles that, that, that are connecting all of us, and they're taking it away, and people are allowing this to happen, and, and that is, that is, that is going to be the death of us all. 